In today's video, we are rehousing. Whoa! We are rehousing a very feisty Terranoculus Marinus. Let's go! Tarantula content for Tarantula lovers. Hello, everybody, welcome to this latest episode. I am your host, Robbie, and this is Robbie's Talking Tees. Tarantula content for Tarantula lovers just like yourselves. If you want to be a better Tarantula keeper or just admire these amazing animals make sure to consider subscribing to the channel commenting down below and giving this video a huge thumbs up like i said in the introduction today we are going to be rehousing my Terranoculus marinus true color form or tan color form female into a new enclosure so let's show you how we did it and also give you some care and husbandry information on the species so we're rehousing <clears throat> this girl that we picked up at the Bristol Invert Show. As you can see, it is Terranoculus marinus, the tan colour form or true colour form, depending on how you're talking about it. It's the TCF. We got this one from so many legs. It is clearly a female and was £40. Now, she is only tiny. She's only about two and a half to three inches, and I'm gonna be rehousing her into this Exoterra 30 by 30 by 30 enclosure. We have set it up already. She has got a little cork bark hide, a little den here that she can hide in. And also I thought it would be nice because a lot of people are saying they are semi-arboreal and after seeing obts in andrew smith's documentary on p muticus they was living in cliff faces in the cracks and they was happy in there so i'm going to give it a, a semi-arboreal feel by giving it this little platform that it can just get up off the ground on i've also got some fake plants in here i'm not normally a fan of fake plants but the enclosure come with these already glued in to the sides so i'm keeping them there and of course as always the most important thing that we have in here is a water dish so that's the enclosure now what we have to do is get her out of this tub and into the new enclosure now this is going to be fun because they are very fast very defensive or they can be if you don't treat them with respect tarantulas so I have got a catch cup ready just in case she wants to bolt now I don't like the fact oh see look she's fret posing and getting defensive already which is something I already planned for is because I've just ruffled up the enclosure and uh startled her and she doesn't like it i have got a catch cup ready the thing is with obts or orange bitey things as they're known as they're very defensive but they do calm down very very quickly so what i'm just going to do is take the lid off because i don't plan on her bolting i plan on her just throwing up fruit poses as I've shown in previous videos they don't tend to want to bolt and run around too much now those could be my famous last words because she could just bolt straight out of here but I don't think she's going to I think she's just going to cling on to this lid because this is mm, she's on the lid okay <laughs> okay girl that's what you want to do that's what you want to do what i need to do is actually get her off this lid and put her back firmly on the ground that's what i need to do because i do want to give you guys a good look at her okay calm down maybe she's being more bolty than i expected here you go <clears throat> at 
absolutely stunning spider. But now I'm going to put her in her new home and give you some care and husbandry information on her. What we're going to do is I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to place her in here like so and give you the care and husbandry information. Obviously, Pteranoculus marinus is an African old world baboon tarantula. They get to a maximum diagonal leg span of about six inches. So this girl has got lots and lots and lots of growing to do. They are a very, very defensive species and not recommended for beginner tarantula keepers. I know there's a lot of people out there that have started off with these and done absolutely fine with them. But as a general rule, I advise people to stay away from them because of that defensive nature. And it is likely they do have potent venom. I have read bite reports, but I've never actually spoken to someone who's got a bite and they have reported that they are painful and they do suffer some side effects from it. So if you're a new keeper, stay away from OBTs is my advice. Growth rate, these guys are really fast. If you buy a sling, it won't be long until you have a juvenile of this size, especially with males. I've had every single OBT I've ever purchased in the past from a tiny sling has always been a male and it's always matured out within the first year, maybe the first two years. So that's why I'm really excited to have a female in the collection. Uh, Kate and hares, these don't have any because obviously they are an old world species and they are heavy webbers. What this girl is probably going to end up doing is webbing up this entire enclosure and making it suitable for herself she'll probably web underneath the cork bark and make a little hide in there they do also like to burrow temperature wise i keep all my spiders at the same temperatures in the tarantula room i keep them 24 to 25 during the day and that drops down to around 18 degrees at night and they do perfectly fine at those temperatures it's okay to go a little bit either way as long as it's not too hot because obviously extreme temperatures will lead to dehydration and low temperatures will lead to them freezing and that's definitely what we don't want so those mid 20 temperatures keep it at that feeding wise I feed slings and juveniles every other day, small mealworms, small crickets, small dubia roaches, something of that nature. And as they start to get to them adult sizes, I do start to reduce the actual feeding schedule. The, the meal will get larger, but I will reduce it down to one once a week, once every other week, depending on the size of the booty and they do absolutely fine. I will feed them a large dubia roach, a, a large superworm, or a couple of crickets, and they do just fine. Life expectancy, these are not the longest lived tarantulas you'll get. Females live between 12 and 15 years. Males have a much shorter life expectancy. Like I said, mine have matured out in the first two years but some of them will reach three or four years maximum so the males are not very long lived at all but now all that's been said what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and coax her out of this enclosure or out of her old tub and into the new enclosure now i do fully expect some defensive behavior Or she's just going to scurry to the back like that. But she is in the new enclosure now. So that's fantastic. Nicely done, Rob. So now she's in there. We are going to attempt to feed her. Because she did molt a couple of weeks ago. And her booty is on the little bit of the small side. So hopefully... 
she wants the Dubia Roach and doesn't just run up and fret posture it. Now I do crush the heads on the Dubia Roaches and as you can still, as you can see, they do still move, which attracts the tarantula's attention. And there she is showing that fret posturing behavior which you come to love from OBTs. She's a stunning girl. Don't fret posture it, it's, it's food. So after her not taking the food, we decided to leave her there, let her get settled in and end the video here. So there you have it, a relatively smooth enclosure. Now there was some fret posturing, but that was to be expected. This species of tarantula is very well known for being very on edge and very defensive. When anything comes near the enclosure, there they are with that fret posture. But on the whole, they're quite easy to deal with and you shouldn't feel intimidated. We have left her there to get settled in, so hopefully it won't be long until she's webbed up that enclosure and is really feeling at home. So this is the end of the video. Hopefully you've got all the care information you need on this species. If you have any further questions, ask them in the comments and I'll happily reply. So all I have to say now is have a great day, have a great week, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you can't wait till then, there's a couple here to tide you over until the next one. See you later. Tarantula content for tarantula lovers.